What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking about what to sell on Amazon KDP to make a hundred dollars fast. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video we're going to be talking about what books you should be publishing to make a hundred dollars fast. Now here's my results from over the last few years. We can see that I started back in November 2018 and now it's July 2021 and if we scroll down to here we can see that it didn't really take me that long to get past that hundred dollar mark. I started in November and then by December I'd already made six hundred and seventy seven dollars and then after that it went down to five hundred and ninety nine and then went up to 2,800. So we can see I actually got to $100 pretty fast. Now, how did I do that? Well, one of the ways is creating books around what people are actually searching for. And the second way is actually by treating this like a business. Now, one thing I do want to cover really quick, and that is this video is supposed to be all about what books you should publish to get to a hundred dollars pretty fast. Now this question is really hard to answer because everyone's going to be different. Everyone has a different set of skills, their designs are different, everything is different. So there's no way of me telling you what books to publish so you can go and make a hundred dollars. The better question you should be asking is how many books do you need to sell to make that hundred dollars? And the answer is around 50 books. So let's say that your books have an average of a two dollar royalty. We're going to need to sell 50 to make that hundred dollars. So when you put it like that, it doesn't really sound that bad. Now, like I said, that first question, how many, no, what books should I publish to make a hundred dollars is really hard to answer. The second one, how many books do you need to sell to make a hundred dollars is a lot easier. And all I can do now is just give you some ideas for books that you can go and dive deeper, look into and find profitable keywords. Because it really doesn't matter the niche. It really doesn't matter the niche, the type of book, or anything like that. You can make a hundred dollars practically in any type of low content books. So again, I'm just going to put up some ideas and then I'm going to explain how to dive deeper into those ideas to find profitable keywords. So the first one being coloring books. Now you've probably heard about this. We do actually have a coloring book course that you can check out by clicking the link down in the description, which is called Simple Coloring Books. That course will teach you everything that I now know about creating coloring books. Now with coloring books, you can easily go and make a hundred dollars just with these types of books. Now with coloring books, there's so many different types of niches. Now if we do this, just look on the search bar. This, all these results here are from AMS Suggestion Expander. It's a free Chrome extension and it pulls up all keywords related to your main keyword. It's going to pull up all the related, all the keywords before, all the keywords after and other. So with this tool alone, you can really find some great keywords. Now again, with coloring books, there's literally thousands of niches. Now to find these niches, you can look at hobbies, sports, food, animals, pets, job titles, the list goes on. And chances are people are actually searching for a coloring book in those niches. So you could go through all of animals, like you could do a bear coloring book. We can see people are searching that. We could do a dog coloring book. We can see quite a few different keywords. And we can go through or through all these different lists of animals to find all of these niches. And again, you can do it for job titles. So teacher, a teacher coloring book. We can see, if we give it a second, people are actually searching for this. So it's really hard, really 
not hard. It's really easy to find niches within colouring books because they're absolutely everywhere. And remember, all you need to do is sell 50 books at $2 royalty to make that $100. Pretty, pretty simple. But this is just one type of book with thousands of niches. Another type is, if this is going to load up, activity books. It's going to be the same for here. There's so many different types of niches. You can do animals, pets, sports, hobbies. The list goes on. So you could do a basketball activity book. And as we can see, look, people are searching for this basketball activity book for kids. So again, activity books is just another way that you can go and make $100. Now, with these two activity books and coloring books, they're a little bit harder to produce. So I would not start creating them until you already have a basic understanding of creating books, been through the upload process and all of that stuff. So coloring books and activity books is more aimed at the advanced KD peer. You wouldn't really want to start doing these if you're brand new. But then there's so many more other great niches like composition notebooks. Now, when it comes to composition notebooks, these are actually one of my favorite types of books to create. Main reason being, they're fairly easy, but there's thousands and thousands of niches just within composition notebooks alone. Now, if we go back over to my Get Book Report and scroll down, I believe that one of my best-selling composition notebooks has come close to breaking $4,000 in royalties. Now, it's taken a while to get there. That wasn't overnight. That's just over the space of a good year or so. Now, if we scroll down to round about here, I'll try and unblur it as well, just so you can see the actual keyword. But here we are. This is my best-selling composition notebook. It sells quite regularly. I've sold 1,924 units, and it's made $3,718. And that's just one of my composition notebooks. I actually have quite a few. Now, with the composition notebooks, like I said, there's literally thousands of niches and you can find them the same way. So you can look at hobbies. We can look at sports. We can look at animals. We can look at pets. We can look at absolutely everything for a niche. Look at this. Rat, a rat composition notebook is auto populated, which means someone's actually searching that. But again, we can go through lots of different types of niches, including hobbies, sports, um, food, animals, pets, job titles, and all of this. Chances are there's a niche for it and someone searching for it within composition notebooks. Now, if you're interested in actually creating composition notebooks, we have done a video or two on this in the past. And what I'll do is just link one right there right now in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch. So composition notebooks, that is actually one of my favorite books to create. But then there's still loads more that you can create and sell and make a hundred dollars with. So then Fourth one that I have lined up is this one, and that is planners. Now, my screen's gone a little bit weird, so just please bear with me. But planners, there's so many different types of niches for planners. Now, a good way to actually find them is looking on Etsy. You can look on Etsy at digital downloads. In fact, I actually meant digital planners, not digital downloads, but in fact, let's just go over to Etsy and let me show you really quick. So in the search bar, let's put in digital planner. And there we go. Now, if we click enter, we're going to get lots of digital planners come up in lots of different niches. And we can use these niches to check on Amazon to see if there's demand. So right here, mid-year digital planner, another digital one for that's an undated all-in-one planner for fitness, wellness, nutrition, finances, and projects with goals. So fitness, wellness, nutrition, finances, all of this can be broken down into completely separate different niches over on Amazon. And there's going to be even more. Again, with planners, there's just so many different types of niches. So Go and check it out. Check out planners and start doing some research. You can research here on Amazon. You can research on Google. 
Etsy and so many other places. But again, planners just have so many different types of niches. Now, the last one that I want you to go and check out is logbooks because again logbooks has so many different types of niches now if we go into the search bar and do this take a little look at the related keywords if it's going to let me logbook here we go hold on for two more seconds and there we go so right off the bat we can see a logbook for truckers for office for work for women diabetics pilots business trucks for money so many different great niches just within logbooks. So what types of books should you be selling to make you $100? It really doesn't matter because all of the niches that I showed you above, including logbooks, planners, composition notebooks, activity books and coloring books all sell and you can make $100 with all of these books because all it comes down to is creating books around what people are actually searching for and treating this like a business and not a hobby. If you treat KDP like a hobby, you will only get hobby income. If you treat it like a business, show up every day and work on some area of your business every single day, you will get results. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.